We saw so many different kinds of partnerships. I mean, so many different kinds, like some where people felt they found their soulmate and they were inseparable, some where people lived really separate lives, some nasty relationships, um, and, you know, a bunch of divorces. But, you know, the thing, there were some characteristics that were really important. One was that we realized that, you know, here were two people who decided to get together and to stay together. And all of us are moving targets. All of us are changing every day, right? And you realize that when you get together with someone, you're changing, that person is changing. You are not going to be the people 10 years hence that you, that you were when you got together. So how do you deal with two moving targets moving together? And I think one of the things we found was that the couples that were the most satisfied were the couples who really welcomed change in the other person and rolled with it and adapted to it and supported somebody in taking chances, trying new things, that kind of thing. It didn't insist that somebody be who they were you know, on the day they got married or the day they had their first date, that that is a recipe for disaster. The other thing is that the people who were the most satisfied were people who kept being curious about their partners. So one of the things they find in, in research studies is that we are most tuned into our partners when we first start dating. And if you think about it, it makes sense because you're like worrying all the time. Is this person into me? What are they thinking? What are they feeling? Right? So you're really preoccupied with what this, what's going on for this person. And then as we stay together, we think, oh, I know, yeah, I know what they're going to say. I know what they're going to do, you know? And then, then what they find is that people are actually less tuned into their partners the longer they've been together in perfectly good, stable relationships. So one of the things we found was that the people who managed to keep relationships vibrant were the people who kept being curious about their partner. Who is this person today? Actually, one of my meditation teachers taught me this exercise, this meditation that's really useful, and you can use it in relationships. The question you ask yourself is, what's here now that I've never noticed before? You know, so you could, it could be while, while you're sitting and breathing, which you've done thousands of times, right? Or it could be while you're having dinner with your partner, you know, which you've done over and over again. What's here now that I've never noticed before? And see what comes up. Mm -hmm.